manufacturing is a bulk wealth creator more than the wealth it is a job creator yeah so the kind of unemployment what we have in india can be resolved only by manufacturing so that's how the whole sector is heading and how it is going now हेलो इंजीनियर्स कैसे हैं आप सब लोग आज हमारे साथ है मिस्टर शाहजी टाइटस जिन्हें मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग के डोमेन में 35 फाइव ईयर्स से भी ज्यादा का एक्सपीरियंस है ये रिसेंटली ओला इलेक्ट्रिक के सीनियर डायरेक्टर की पोजीशन पे भी रह चुके हैं और सर को ऑटोमोबाइल एंड ऑटो कॉम्पोनेंट मैनुफेक्चरिंग में स्पेशलाइज करते हैं तो ये स्पेशली हमारे चैनल पे आए हैं बताने के लिए अबाउट हिज एक्सपीरियंस और आपको आपके करियर की गाइडेंस देने के लिए So, sir, thank you so much for taking out time and talk to us today. I'm sure कि हमारे viewers को आपसे बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिलेगा। तो आइए शुरू करते हैं और जानते हैं about sir के experiences और उन्होंने उन्हें क्या लगता है कि हमारे viewers के लिए क्या-क्या चीजें important हैं to become a very very good mechanical engineer. So my first question for you is why manufacturing is important and what is the relevance of that in today's world? So first of all thank you Anu for having me here it has been a great pleasure and share my experience basically i am a chemical engineer i started my career about 35 years back and it happened to be on the shop floor on a automobile manufacturing the primary thing is why i selected manufacturing was i loved doing what i was doing this is the principle what i learned from japanese once you start loving what you are doing and the place you will get a good quality product you don't have to put much effort that's how i did my work and i just loved doing for the last 35 years now coming into manufacturing manufacturing is the backbone of any industry yeah. if you take uh, india as a whole manufacturing is a sleeping giant which is slowly waking up okay why i am saying is if you see 2010 the contribution of manufacturing to the gdp was about 19% okay. in 2020 it has come down to 14% so there has been a terrible slip mm. now india as such has woken up manuf- manufacturing sector and started giving all kind of importance yeah. because manufacturing is a bulk wealth creator more than the wealth it is a job creator yeah so the kind of unemployment what we have in india can be resolved only by manufacturing so that's how the whole sector is heading and how it is going now okay very well so this means that if manufacturing sector is growing it means that jobs will recently grow to hamare paas aur zyada jobs aati rahengi to hamare engineers ko taiyari shuru kar deni chahiye because sector grow kar raha hai to uska matlab hai ki jobs aati hi rahengi now my second question for you sir is that what are the emerging trends and disciplines of this manufacturing industry if you are looking at uh, manufacturing as such like i said there is a awakening call yeah. now manufacturing is started progressing quite well slowly india is becoming the manufacturing hub for the world if you look at pharmaceutical when we had the covid mm. india was the pharmaceutical capital of the world yes. we supplied the vaccines to the entire world yeah exactly likewise manufacturing is taking the lead in no time we will be the manufacturing hub for the world why is it happening because a lot of things are happening in india's favor one of the reasons is the geopolitical instability the government has come with a lot of subsidiary like a pli china press policy one press policy so a lot of things are happening in india and we are manufacturing for the world even if you look at the uh, the economy we have become the fifth largest economy hmm. by now yes. we were about 7 or 8 about 3 or 4 years back when you look at the automobile industry we are the sixth largest producer of automobile in the world in no time within another 3 4 years we will become to the position of third so that is the kind of 
impact us and the kind of drive and the things are what is happening. If you look at the automobiles, 35% of the two wheelers are exported to different countries. 20% of the four wheelers are getting exported. So that is the kind of impact us what is manufacturing bringing to the whole economy. So unless you have this kind of boost and drive by manufacturing, yeah. we cannot become the 10 trillion economy what we are in, in envisaging by 2030. Oh, so does this mean that as you already mentioned that the industry is growing and we are exporting our manufacturing things that we are manufacturing, automobile, bikes or cars that we are talking about. Does this mean that there will be opportunities abroad as well for our engineers? Recently I was uh, interacting with a German CEO who has been here for a project execution. So he was telling me the kind of the talent what we have in India and the quality of talent is amazing. By the time he went back after two months, he sponsored six engineers from our side to Germany. So okay. that is the kind of opportunities. Now at least a lot of engineers are going to Germany. You can see them working in uh, all the auto majors there. So my question for you is, why do we require uh, industry ready engineers for this industry? That's a good question, Anu. Uh, the thing is earlier, we had one or two disciplines of engineering, mm -hmm. stating uh, civil, mechanical, electrical. Yeah. And they had to be taken into the industry and they have to be trained. And training used to take a lot of time. Yeah. Now, industry doesn't have the patience and doesn't have exactly. the time. Yes. If you see, a lot of courses are available there. Earlier, uh, for example, in an automobile engineer, when we want an engineer, we used to take a mechanical engineer and uh, training for about six to eight months in certain specific skills. Now what we do is, if you want an engineer for fabrication, we take an engineer who knows welding, okay. robotics. If you want an engineer for a paint shop, we try to get uh, engineers who have studied paint technology, okay. application, surface preparation. So these are specific skills which is being imparted by different institutes. Okay. So that, that, that is how the whole world is going. Hmm. So you have to be skill prepared. Yes. And so the industry doesn't spend much of the time and resources in upskilling. Okay, got your point. Hmm. So as per you, what are the skills that are really required by the industry in all mechanical engineers or automobile engineers as per you? I will say the first thing is the attitude. Okay. You should have an open mind. Okay. Because all the engineers, once they go to the shop floor, mm. everything is like a, a fish out, out of water. He mm. takes a little time to understand what it is. But he should come with an open mind and see what is good and start learning it. Okay. So what Shahji sir wants to say is that we should go with an open mindset when we are going to the shop floor. We are in a learning phase and we are learning something new every day. So if you are going to the shop floor, then you are going with an open mindset so that you can learn something new with your seniors and you can grow your experiences. Okay, so now Shahji sir, I just want to understand your senior director's position, right? How did your typical day look like? What were your key responsibilities there on the shop floor? I used to arrive on the shop floor before everyone arrives. Okay. First comer. Yeah. So once I go around, I know what has happened on the previous day. Okay. Because uh, probably the night shift was there, I was not there. Okay. So once okay. I come in the morning, I know what has been happening. Then we start with a morning meeting with our operators. Okay. Usually we uh, wish all the operators and uh, we have a, usually a one-to-one -one interaction. Okay. Then I meet all my supervisors. Then we look at the what is the plan for the day and how was it on the this thing. After that, I usually get details from the daily mundane work. Then I'll be concentrating on the improvement activity. I'll be start thinking about what is going to happen tomorrow and the week after that. Day to day will be, I have already deployed and delegated to the supervisor, yeah. line supervisors and they'll take it. 
and if they have a problem of course they'll come back to me so once you assign the problems and deploy and if they are very clear what they are supposed to do you can detach yourself from the daily mundane work mm. and start looking on a longer vision so that right. so that's how it used to happen. so now mr shashi can you please tell me about your first job and how was your first day at the office <laughs> Interesting question <laughs> because when I, as a young engineer at the age of 23, I joined okay. on the shop floor. Uh, I was literally a fish out of water. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know what was happening. So the first thing I tried to do was, before knowing the process, I tried to acclimatize with the environment and know the people. And after which I become, I had a lot of friends, and they also try try to help. me i also try to help them then it become a smooth sailing okay okay great so uh, anything that you want to tell our, our viewers about your experience of your first job and your first uh, shop floor you can say shop floor uh, always i like i said in the beginning i mm. used to love what i am doing i loved my people so i was very happy with what i was doing my this thing was by the end of the day i should be leaving as a happy man okay i always think whether i have given the right kind of things what i should have done hmm. and whether it was any improvement that the previous day okay so i used to see each day as a new beginning and how to interact with the, not only with the process for me the people was the most important thing yeah uh not only personally personally also mm. I, i used to know almost all the people by their names and that's really important as well yeah not only their know. names i used to know mm. about their family also that's really yeah, great yeah. yeah so whenever they used to have a, a problem or anything they used to come and tell me very personally so that kind of connect was very important mm. and uh, so they used to go out of the way to see that what i used to tell them will get accomplished this is my last question to sir as per you what are the latest trends of manufacturing industry and where it's heading and how it is different from the earlier times a good question and it's not the last it's the beginning <laughs> okay uh as such the manufacturing is a, like i said earlier it's a giant which is woken up now what i am seeing the uh, trend earlier you used to have software you have uh, manufacturing which were all stand alone kind of things the integration between these two never used to happen okay the other day i was reading a interview of one of the uh, pharmaceutical companies md okay where she was telling they were very fortunate to have a in house software division okay. so what happened the software they worked along with manufacturing as well as r&d because of that what she says the kind of stimulation the kind of uh, insights what has given they were able to crunch the time okay the vaccine was out within 18 months oh otherwise it takes hmm. about 7 to 8 years it's because the both the sectors are working all yeah, together all together so now it is coming to at this thing all the service industry or the manufacturing manufacturing i'll say is a hardcore engineering mm. service i'll say is the back end and the soft soft side yeah it has to merge together okay because even if you look at the all the latest ev cars or the ev automobiles mm. earlier 90% was hardcore engineering yeah now i'll say about 7 to 80% is only engineering and mm. balance is software okay the car is driven governed mm. monitored everything by the software yeah so it is giving a better experience to the driver or the customer and more entertainment it's more safer more economical yeah. so everything is going to get merged there is not going to be any kind of division saying that manufacturing up so the engineers who are coming to the shop floor yeah he has to know bit of everything he has to be jack of all trades okay either you have to be too specialized in certain specific fields mm. like i'll say uh, painting mm. welding mm. if you are on the shop floor 
trying to lead the other things you have to jack of all the you should be knowing everything okay a little bit of everything, uh, everything mm. of so that's how the industry is going to progress okay. one of the biggest thing uh, i think which is going to happen in manufacturing we have been producing only for india for domestic market okay that trend is changing at least 40 to 50% will be manufactured for the world so now the things are moving into that direction one is export front where the quality and the uh, economics has to play a big role mm. as well as merging of all kind of sectors into one yeah. that is where the whole world is leading i think this kind of change will happen within another 3 4 years because that is the kind of products we are going to have uh what you see now might not be there tomorrow that is the oh, kind of yeah. changes what is happening mm. because everything is changing exponentially but these changes will be in a very positive aspect yes. right yes mm. so you should be able to stay relevant so all this things it depends on your mindset how open you are because things are available mm. exactly how you go out and grasp it and yes. aspire to become one that mm. there lies the whole point exactly so what sir wants to say is that hame itna open mindset rakhna hai ki hum roz kuch naya seekh paaye if we'll not learn new things right hum grow nahi kar payenge with the industry and if we are not growing with the industry hum wo jo naye trends aa rahe hain wo seekh nahi payenge in koi bhi industry aise logo ko aise engineers nahi chahti hai jo naye cheeze nahi seekhe right so we need to catch up with the new trends and learn new things on a daily basis ठीक इट वॉज रली रली ग्रेट टॉकिंग टू यू सर एंड हमारे व्यूअर्स को इनफैक्ट मुझे भी काफी कुछ सीखने को मिला है आपसे ठीक है आप कुछ कहना चाहेंगे लास्ट हमारे व्यूअर्स के लिए हमारे सारे इंजीनियर्स के लिए ऑफकोर्स आई वॉन्ट टू से लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम सो आई डोट वॉन्ट टू टेक मच ऑफ द टाइम द काइंड ऑफ द टैलेंट पुल वॉट वी हैव इन इंडिया इट इज एनवियस फॉर द होल वर्ल्ड and i very strongly believe this decade belongs to india within another 3 4 years we will lead others will follow and this has to be done and i always believe the engineers are the movers of the world yes they move the world so you are on the right track you have a beautiful platform don't miss the opportunity this opportunity everyone doesn't get exactly yes. so grab it with both hands and go ahead wish you all the best thank you so much sir thanks a lot like, like share, share and, and subscribe, subscribe to engineering job alerts let's crack it